Mayong adlaw si Pisay 41 students and mayong adlaw sa tanan. So this video is purposely created to supplement exercise number 4 entitled Crop Nutrition in Relation to Crop Yield Focus on Fertilizer Computation. So technically, this exercise has four objectives. So we are focusing on the last objective which is to have the right application in terms of the quantity of our fertilizers to be applied for our cultured crops. So here I am again, Junri Anthony M. Remolio from the Department of Agronomy and Plant Breeding, College of Agriculture, Central Mindanao University. And I will be discussing some basic computations, especially in your fertilizer application. Optimum growth and development. Basically, that is the heart of crop production. That is why our crop plants need certain nutrients from the soil. This principle is applicable to us humans because we also need nutrients in order for us to grow and live healthier. These essential nutrients are needed by the plants in order for them to grow properly. And at the same time, they play a critical role, especially in plant metabolism. For the theoretical part of this exercise, I will no longer discuss it here. That would serve as your reading assignment because we will be focusing on the fertilizer computation. So we will define some important terms related to this subject. So first is fertilizer. Fertilizer is defined as any substance that is added to the soil to supplement certain nutrients needed in the nutrition of our crop plants. This comes in two types, organic and inorganic. And both have its own advantages and disadvantages. The second one is the fertilizer grade or analysis. This refers to the minimum guarantee of plant nutrient in terms of percent total nitrogen, available phosphorus, and soluble potassium. This is always written in the fertilizer bag. And the last one is the fertilizer recommendation. This pertains to the total NPK expressed in kilograms per hectare basis often given after soil analysis. Basically, this recommendation is based on the crop requirement, the fertility and texture of the soil, and the season of planting. So, remember those three Fs, fertilizer, fertilizer grade or analysis, and fertilizer recommendation. Because technically, we will be revolving with these three Fs in answering fertilizer computation type problems in CPSI 41A. And I am sure it will also help and guide us in order to answer questions strategically. I'll be showing you in the screen the list of the common organic and inorganic fertilizers with their corresponding fertilizer grade or analysis. Please, please, please familiarize all those things because this might come out in your exam. Basically, the formula in getting for the amount of fertilizer material per hectare is equal to the recommended rate of the nutrient divided by the percent nutrient in the fertilizer. The recommended rate of the nutrient is based on the given fertilizer recommendation of a particular area, whereas the percent nutrient in the fertilizer pertains to the available fertilizer material to be used. So given the example with the recommendation of 90, 30, 60, the 90 pertains to the amount of nitrogen, 30 for the phosphorus, and 60 for the potassium. So you need to remember this pattern in the fertilizer recommendation. So say for example, using the given recommendation, 
In order for us to obtain the amount of urea with a fertilizer grade of 45,000, we just need to apply this formula. So using the formula, 90 kilogram nitrogen per hectare divided by 0.45 is equal to 200 kilogram of urea or 4 bags since each bag weighs 50 kilogram. So 200 divided by 50 equals 4. So urea is a single element fertilizer containing nitrogen. As you can observe in its fertilizer grade, the, the 45 falls into the nitrogen part. Okay, secondly, for the superphosphate, when we use superphosphate or 0, 20, 0, 30 kilogram phosphorus per hectare divided by 0. 0.20 is equal to 150 kilogram or 3 bags of superphosphate. And lastly, for the mu rate of potash or 0, 0, 60, 60 kilogram potassium per hectare divided by 0 0.60 is equal to 100 kilogram or two bags of urate of potash. So in general, the fertilizers that we use in this example are all single element fertilizers because these materials contain fertilizer with only one element. So for Urea, it contains nitrogen because the grade falls into the nitrogen part. For the superphosphate, even in its name, you can recognize that it contains phosphorus. So 0, 20, 0 because it falls in the middle part. Allotted for potassium, I for phosphorus, and for the murate of potash, 0, 0, 60, which contains potassium. Let us move on to the next problem. If one bag of fertilizer material weighs 50 kilograms, calculate for the amounts of nutrients present in the following fertilizer materials as reflected in your screen. So in this case, the fertilizer materials are urea, ammonium phosphate, complete fertilizer, and murate of potash. But before we proceed, let us go back to the formula I introduced earlier, which is the amount of fertilizer material per hectare. We can compute it by dividing the recommended rate of nutrient with the percent nutrient in the fertilizer. So that is the case when we compute for the amount of fertilizer material. But in this problem, what we're asked are the amounts of the nutrients, the NPK. And in this problem, the amount of fertilizer material is already given, the 50 kilogram, as well as the percent nutrient in the fertilizer reflected in the respective uh, fertilizer materials with their fertilizer grade. Hence, in order to obtain for the amount of nutrients, we need to derive the formula by multiplying the amount of fertilizer materials per hectare with the percent nutrient in the fertilizer material. So to compute, in the case of the urea, a single element fertilizer containing nitrogen, we are to multiply 50 kilogram with 0.45, which results to 20 kilogram nitrogen. For the ammonium phosphate, 18460, which is a double element fertilizer containing nitrogen and phosphorus, we are to multiply 50 kg with 0.18 in the case of the nitrogen, which results to 9 kg nitrogen, and 50 kg with 0.46 equals 23 kg phosphorus. For the complete fertilizer, 50 kg times 0.14 is equal to 7 kg nitrogen. No? And for the phosphorus and for the potassium, since they are of the same fertilizer, uh, I mean, they are of this, the same uh, rate of the 
nutrient present. And for the mu rate of potash, 50 kilogram times 0.60 equals 30 kilogram potassium. Let's proceed to the third problem. The result of Mr. Velasco's soil analysis shows that his farm requires 125, 63, and 46 kilograms of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. If one bag contains 50 kilograms, how many bags of the following fertilizers will you need in order to satisfy the recommendation? So based on the problem reflected in your screen, the presumed fertilizer materials available in the market are the following. The complete fertilizer, ammonium phosphate, and the urea. In this type of problem, there are two things that we need to do. First is to determine the number of bags needed in each fertilizer material in order to satisfy the recommendation. So the second one is to satisfy the recommendation, the 125, 63, 46. So the first basic step to satisfy the recommendation is to determine the nutrient with the least amount. So in this case, the 125-63-46, the least amount falls on the potassium. So that would be the first nutrient that we need to satisfy. So in when we use complete 14-14, we need to divide the 46, which is the least the least amount of nutrient in kilograms divided by the 0.14 which results to 328.57 kilograms or 7 bags because we cannot avail 6.57 in the market in terms of bags so we need to round it off so that would be the, the number of bags needed for complete fertilizer. So given this weight, 128.57 kilograms of complete fertilizer, we can determine the amount of nutrients present in this fertilizer material by multiplying the weight in kilograms. You multiply it with 0.14. So which it will result to 46 kilograms of nitrogen, 46 kilograms of phosphorus, and 46 kilograms of potassium. So going back to the fertilizer recommendations, since we already determined the number of uh, nutrients present in the complete fertilizer, then we will deduct the, the 346 against the Fertilizer recommendation. So 125 minus 46, 63 minus 46, and 46 minus 46 equals 79, 17, 0. Hence, our potassium has already been satisfied. So this will be our new fertilizer recommendation after satisfying 14, 14, 14. The 79, 17, 0. And this will be our reference in order to satisfy the second fertilizer material. Or, I mean, to determine the number of bags needed to satisfy the recommendation. Sorry for the error. Okay, for the ammonium phosphate, we need to divide the 17, which is the least amount, which falls under potassium or iphosphorus. So, 17 kilogram divided by 0.20 equals 85 kilogram or 2 bags. So we just need to round it off, which results to 2 bags. So same procedure. In order to determine the amount of nitrogen and phosphorus, since ammonium phosphate is a single, is a, is a double element fertilizer containing nitrogen and phosphorus, we need to multiply 85 by 0.16, 
in order to determine the number of the amount of nitrogen which results to 14 kilogram and then 85 times 0.20 which results to 17 kilogram phosphorus. So going back to the fertilizer recommendation, we will deduct the 14 and the 17 you know, to the new fertilizer recommendation. So 79.17.0 minus 14 for the nitrogen and 17 for the phosphorus, it will result to a difference of 65.00. So this is the new fertilizer recommendation after satisfying the ammonium phosphate. So as you can see, the phosphorus has already been satisfied based on the fertilizer recommendation. So for the remaining fertilizer material, which is the urea, the same procedure, we divide 65 by 0.46, which results to 141.30 kilogram or 3 bucks, since we cannot avail 2.83 in the market. So same again, same procedure in order to determine the amount of nitrogen in urea 141.30 times 0.46 equals 65 kilogram nitrogen. So again, we will deduct this sa in the in the new fertilizer recommendation. So 65 zero zero equals zero which means the, the fertilizer recommendation of 125 63 or 46 has been satisfied let me have some few reminders regarding the computation of the fertilizer in computing for the amounts of nutrients in each fertilizer material you use the weight in kilograms not the bags so as you can see in order to obtain the amount of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium in complete fertilizer we use the 328.57 kilogram weight of complete which results to 46 kilograms and pk in the same manner applies to the other fertilizer materials and I'd, I'd like to remind you as well that this fertilizer recommendation is on a hectare basis so don't ever forget that so students i hope this video would help you in answering your laboratory exercise number four remember that the problems i presented earlier are just basic problems related to fertilizer computation. So please tune in to my next videos for I will be discussing some complex problems related to fertilizer application, which would widen your knowledge and perspective in real life applications in agriculture. So for your questions or clarifications, you can contact me through my email address reflected in your screen. So thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.